praying. Please let's continue to pray for Sister Linda. Amen. That the Lord will continue to heal her body. Amen. Are there any other uh, unspoken prayer requests? You can make them known by the raising of your hands. God of acknowledge. Let us all bow our heads in prayer. Go ahead, good Father, in the precious name of Jesus. Once again, Lord, I'm going to thank you, Lord, for this opportunity, Lord, to come before your throne of praise. Lord, I'm going to thank you, Lord, for the word that we heard upon this morning, for all the words that we have received from you, Lord Jesus, from the Sunday school lesson, Lord, to the preaching, Lord Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for blessing us, Lord, for the desire, Lord, to come back to the house of worship, Lord, this evening. Lord, I want to thank you, Lord, for the word that we're about to receive from you again. And Lord, I want to ask, Lord, to from all these prayer requests, Lord, you know we all stand in need of, Lord, you know, very down city, uprising, going in and coming out. Lord, touch every single one of these prayer requests according to your will. And Lord, I want to ask, Lord, you also, Lord, bless, Lord, choose all those that are sick, Lord. Touch their bodies, Lord, with your finger of love. And we'll be comforting in your name, the praise, and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, amen.
Yeah.
he's been good to you, why don't you give him a praise? Amen. I say it's your appreciation. Acts 1 and 8. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So grateful and thankful for the beautiful presence of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Just amen. close your eyes and just thank God for his presence. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. the anointed of God. That's right. Yes. Amen. That's what it teaches me. Amen. It teaches me what I should be listening to and what I shouldn't be listening to. Come on. I'm thankful for the word of God. It teaches me what kind of spirit and attitude I should have towards everybody. Somebody say amen. I'm thankful for the word of God. Amen. Without the word of God, Amen. We wouldn't be here because Hallelujah. in the beginning God said, and God began to breathe into the breath, Amen, into the nostrils of man, and, Amen. And we here we are today because of God and His Word. I'm thankful for the Word of God. Amen. 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 Anybody thankful for the Word of the Lord? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Somebody testify tonight. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Let me stand and praise the Lord for the word that we've been hearing all day long. You know, uh, right now it is just marinating. You know, think about it, think about it, and you think about it, and let it marinate, you know, so that we can put it in action. I want to put it in action. And I just stand and praise the Lord, you know, something um, that uh, Pastor Alex said this morning in Sunday school. You know, 
like it's a little tight, don't worry about it it's because right. it's right. You know, Amen. Like Amen. you say, it's tight, Amen. but it's right. right. And I just thank and praise Lord for that, you know, because God is just a provider. His ultimate goal is for us to see him without spot, wrinkle, or blemish or any such thing. So and that's my prayer. So I just thank and praise Lord for all you people. I just want to thank the Lord. Um, I was looking up there at that picture on the screen, and it just reminds me that little road. Stay in the protection of the little road. It's got two fences on each side. You, know, you never know if you go on the other side, there may be a raging bull or a wild hog or anything. On the other side, there may be you know a pit of snakes. And so I just thank God that he keeps you on this little narrow road for a reason. You know, we don't sit on the fence and say, well, I'm okay. I'm, I'm not all the way over. No, you're not okay because that bull can get you. That snake can get you sitting on that fence. And I just thank God that he gives me the grace and the love to stay on the road, not on the fence, not on that fence. That he tells me, stay away from there. You know, and he guides and directs me and, and leads me to stay where I need to go. And I just want to thank God for that.
time. Yes. And I thank the Lord for the saints. I thank the Lord for the, the uh, family, the choir. I thank the Lord for the, for the bishop. Amen. I thank the Lord for his word that he preached this morning uh, about casting one third upon God. Yeah. Amen. When he was preaching, I got to think about it. You know, back in the day, when I used to play basketball, I didn't like to play with them people that didn't like to cast the ball. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. You know, you don't want to be one of those, those guys on the team that don't know when and how to pass the ball. Yeah. Because if you don't know how to pass the ball, you will lose the game. Yeah. Amen. So I'm going to tell you, I found a confidence that I got one of the star basketball players on the team, and I ain't afraid to pass him the ball. Y'all pray. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come on, will you thank the Lord for being, amen, a part of the church of the living God today? Hallelujah. Bless his name. Worship the Lord.
Thank you, Lord. Spirit control believers who yield to God and submit, amen, himself to God's word. And then the work of the Holy Spirit is to glorify Jesus, to put the spotlight on him and to draw out, to draw our attention. And then the Holy Spirit reveals God's thoughts yes. and teach Amen. and guide believers into all truth. all truth. Even knowledge of what is to come. Right. Just say no. If you have the Holy Ghost, you have the power say no. Uh, one text, 5 and 16, says, so I say, let the Holy Spirit guide your life, then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. Amen. You know, it's essential to receive the baptism. Amen. Amen. If, amen, you're going to live as a child of God, you need the Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you. Amen. 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 Yes, you need it. Right. You're not controlled 
by your sinful nature. Right. You're controlled by the spirit. And if you have the spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you think about that. Amen. I, I, I don't want to be controlled by my flesh. No. Amen. No. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. Some people today insist that we should just give in to any desire that comes out of it. Well, it's okay. Any impulse. Come on, preacher. Turn to the neighbors that we still have to deal with that sinful nature. We still have to deal with that sinful nature. You get a little meat here tonight. I think it's time, amen, to look into what the Spirit of God does. Yes. It gives us the ability to say no to some things right. that our flesh definitely wants to do. Yes, the Holy Ghost gives us the ability to say no. Mm. Praise God. And it feels good to do it. And if it serves you, go for it. And everyone else is doing it. <laughs> Why not? As long as it doesn't hurt anyone. Yes. Yes. Temptation. Yeah. 
But it was never enough. Yeah. Mm. It was powerless against the craving that drove you to make unhealthy and destructive choices. Mm -hmm. To the field. Hello. Yeah. And we all have made some destructive choices, especially yes, yes. before we got saved. Mm -hmm. well, and to be honest, we have made some destructive choices. Yeah, how we were saved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. If we're honest, it's the truth. That's why it's important to say no to some bad. Yeah. Right. Because your carnal nature has some desires. Uh -huh. And just because you got the Holy Ghost, it doesn't get rid of the impulses. That's right. Come on. Amen. Amen. You right? Hello? Hello? You still have the impulses. To do something wrong. Make a wrong choice. As believers, you now have the Holy Spirit and a new ability to say no. You still have the same compulses, desires, love, lust, and impulses. You had before you begin a relationship with Jesus. You still got to deal with those impulses. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you need to be in church. Because yeah. yes. the Lord can help us and remind us, amen, that we do have some power to say no. Hello. This is a problem, especially in the apostolic ranks amongst young people. Yeah. Saying yes to everything, you know? Just because everybody else is doing it don't mean it's right. Come on, preacher. But now the power of God resides in you. Now you have the power. And flesh is saying, go online and pull up some pornography. Hello. Hello. Run. Other direction. Get away. But you're not the way it goes. We have impulses to deal with things. Especially if it's something you've done before you got saved. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Come on, preacher. Oh, yes. But you got the Holy Ghost. You got the power no. to say no. no. Right. Come on. Come on. If you look at Playboy before you got saved and went online and done this or after you got saved you got sneaky and looked at all this crazy stuff. You know what drove you there? Your lust and your impulses. Right. Yeah. Right. And if you keep going there mm -hmm. there are consequences. Uh -huh. It's going to take over. Come on, preach up. Oh, there are consequences. Praise God. We got to be careful. We got to say no to some things. Amen. Amen. The Bible says so. I say, let the Holy Spirit guide your life. Yes. But you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. Yeah. If you allow the 
Holy Ghost. And believe it or not, you can override the Holy yeah. Ghost. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yes. And once you're overriding the Holy Ghost, it's your sinful nature. Right. Yeah. Right. Hello? Amen. We gotta get to the place in our walk with God to say no to some things. The consequences that we will have to face if we get <laughs> connected to some things that, that are not pleasing to God. That's right. That's right. Hello? Let's love the Lord right now. Come on, heaven. Amen. I believe I'm touching something here tonight. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. See, after you get the Holy Ghost, it doesn't say you won't have sinful desires. After you became a Christian, you still want to have to deal with sinful desires. The only way to control those sinful desires, you have to make a choice to satisfy the Holy Ghost by this simply saying, no. so easy, amen. This because everybody else is doing it. It ain't hurt nobody. I'm just going to do it. Yeah. We've got to be careful. The Holy Ghost is given to us to lead and guide us in all truth. And what truth it is, the word of God. Help us to say no to some things. Because you're called on nature. You have impulses. A man has impulses. He see a woman that don't have any clothes on, they showing everything. All the way. That's right. That's right. Be That's honest. Right. Yeah. You get turned on. Just telling you the truth, yeah. but you, you, you got to get to the place to say no to that. Church. That's right. Amen. Or there be consequences. Because what you look at and constantly look at, here come your feet. That's right. That's right. Come on. Mm -hmm. Hello. If you even hear people say. I'm born again, believe me. But I couldn't stop myself. Yeah. They lie. All right. All right. Come on. They can stop. stop themselves if they got the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Because you have the power, power. to say, no, I'm not going there. Yeah. You know, matter of fact, You gotta adapt the habit. It is a good habit when your flesh rises up, and it will. You have to make the statement to the enemy in your flesh. I'm not going there. Not going there. That's right. I'm not going there. Stay away. Hello. I'm not going there. Right. That's the truth. And it ain't nothing wrong with you making that statement. If you deal with something in your flesh, 
this will help you mm -hmm. if you start practicing oh, yeah. and making that statement to yourself. I am not going there. Amen. Yeah. Yes, Amen. Hmm. You see, when they say, Amen, I couldn't stop. They were lying. They simply never called on the power of the Holy Spirit in the moment of temptation. Yeah. What do you think I'm doing when I say I'm not going there? I'm calling on the power of the Holy Ghost. That's right. <laughs> That's by committing to not going there the power of the Holy Ghost will kick in for you. Yeah. And before you know it, it's all out of your mind. We all got to get quiet tonight. I, I don't have a problem that y'all be all quiet. Right. I'm trying to help some folks here. Come on. Praise God. Yes. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Why don't you give the Lord a wave off and thank him for him giving you power to say no. My, my, my. You know, that old woman and old man is still in you. And it's looking for opportunity to get up. Right. And it will get up if you start saying yes to your impulses. Wrong impulses. Yes to your lust. That old man and old woman will get up. And then there's consequences. You see, we have the greatest power in the universe available to us. It's your choice to use it to say no to anything that does not honor and please God. Just say no. Would you stand? Pull up at the bank. Cash the check and they give you twenty dollars extra. Right back. You got the Holy Ghost. The Holy it Ghost will tell you that ain't your money. Give it back. But you can override it. But you gotta say no. It doesn't belong to you. That cute little thing. Well, he's liking you. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. You gotta be careful. Ain't nothing wrong with your boys liking your girls, but you still gotta be careful. Yeah, that's right. right. Yes. Yeah. Come on, preacher. Hello. Come on. Because I'm gonna be very honest with you. There's some ladies out there who will seduce you. Yes, there is. Young ladies. So you got to be careful. Mm-hmm. And walk with God. Come on. You know what you're going to do? He'll give you the right one if you walk in the Spirit. And get to the place to say no to your flesh. One of the main reasons why people get in church and get the Holy Ghost and always have problems, they haven't learned how to say no. That's right. And 
So they in church and they struggle. Back and forth. Back and forth. And the only way to really get strong, you got to get to a place to say, you let me. Amen. There's some things and I'm just not going to do. That's right. That's right. I'm not going to curse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I ain't smoking no weed. Well, I ain't hanging around fornicators. Well, I'm going to be careful what I look at. Impression. No. There's some dogs out there. Well. <laughs> Apostle Paul laid his Bible faith. He said, I died dead. That's how you die. Amen. That's how you crucify the flesh. Amen. It's just say no. Isn't that something? I'm going to tell you how powerful that word, just say no. Even in the world, right? that word is powerful. Yes. I remember when Ronald Reagan was in office and they came out with the statement, just say no to drugs. Do you know what happened in the high schools, elementary schools? The drug use went down. Simply by saying no. No. What do you think of the dudes in the spiritual world? Just saying. No. Praise God. These advertising where they go online and find a girl. You know, or find a lady. Folks, it's becoming very common in our society for folks to go online looking for something. But you got to get to the place. Yes, say no. If the Lord is going to bless you with a woman, let him give it to you. Yes, sir. Praise God. Let him give you. The light of thyself in the Lord. Please, God. And he'll give you the desires of your heart. Mm -hmm. That's by you saying no yeah. to the flesh and your right. impulses. Right. And you have a desire that you want to make. God will give you the right way. And they had the Holy Ghost and they'd be baptized in Jesus' name. Yeah. Will you clap your hands up?
we move it in the place where we're going to have a great revival and new birth down there. Amen. Amen. Oh, glory. And we definitely don't want to send it to camp. Clean it up. Let every head bow and every eye close. I want you to come down on this altar and just say no to your flesh and your impulses. Would you come down and put Let's say no. The Lord's going to help you if you say no. He'll help you. Yes, I will bring you. Thank you. Come on, say no. Let the Lord help me.
want you to begin to pray in your most holy bed. Come on, pray in the perfect will of God right now. Need a coco baka yato robaka. Need a cobaka. Come on, pray in your most holy faith. Hallelujah. Need a coco hayata. The perfect will of God. Come on. Eat a coca. You'll get some strength before you leave here. Eat a cobaka yata baka. Kata hayata baka. Come on, you need it. Heal up cobaka yata baka. Pray in your most holy faith. Heal up. Koshila boko ma yata ha yato. Koshila boki andaka. No yam no ko. Tihara ka yoko ho baka. Liyao ma yato ko. Niki yata. Koshika ma yato baka. Koki andaka. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. Your most holy pray. Hila ko ma ka yata. Yiko shila baka yata baka. Na yoko shila baka yata baka. Thank you. 